Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's see the next name reaction that is R and ester synthesis. This synthesis is useful for the preparation of different kinds of carboxylic acids. Let's see the statement. Increasing length of carbon chain in carboxylic acids using diisomethane. If you observe this particular statement, here the reactants are carboxylic acids, the products also carboxylic acids. Then where is the difference? The difference is in the carbon chain. Let us see carboxylic acids. Converted into higher chain carboxylic acids. The difference between the reactants and products are with only one CH2 unit. One CH2 unit will be increased in product. The reagents are CH2 and 2 diisomethane followed by Hydrolysis in presence of silver oxide. Hydrolysis in presence of silver oxide. This is the general representation of R and ester synthesis. Next, general equation. How can we represent the synthesis in the form of a general equation? general equation. The general representation of carboxylic acids are RCOOH. We all know that if the carboxylic acids are treated with thionyl chloride, what will happen? The carboxylic acids are converted into corresponding acid chlorides. In this particular synthesis also, the first step is the formation of acid chloride. The acid chloride will be treated with CH2N2. This is commonly called as diisomethane. It can produce RC double bond O CHN2. This is one of the intermediate. This one is subjected to Hydrolysis in presence of silver oxide, it can produce RCH2COOH. This is the general equation. What we are observing in the particular reactant, we have carboxylic acid. In the product also, carboxylic acid is there, but see the carbon chain. 1 CH2 unit increased. Let's see the mechanism. How this particular transformation takes place. Mechanism. Initially we know that Carboxylic acids converted into corresponding acid halides by using the thionyl chloride. We need not to discuss about the mechanism for that particular first step, formation of the acid chloride. Directly, I am starting the mechanism from the acid chloride. Acid chloride representation is what? 
R C double bond O C L. This one is going to treated with your diazo methane. The general representation is N triple bond N plus and C H two minus. So what is the possibility? The possibility is that what the carbonyl group. We know that in carbonyl group, oxygen is more electronegative, carbon is less electronegative. That's why what happens? Always these pi bonding electrons move towards what oxygen. Oxygen will take negative charge. The positive charge is going to generated at carbon. That's why what happens? The negatively charged carbon is going to approaches to this particular carbonyl carbon. From this, what we are observing? R single bond C O minus single bond C H two single bond N triple bond N plus and C L. This is the representation. In this case, what happens? The oxygen is attaining what negative charge. The negative charge can Again, form a carbon-oxygen pi bond. Thereby, what happens? The Cl is removed in the form of Cl minus. It can be represented R C double bond O single bond C H two single bond N triple bond N positive charge. This is one particular molecule which is formed here. In the reaction mixture, we are having more number of diazomethane species. The second unit of the diazomethane is going to involve here CH two minus N triple bond N positive charge. This carbon containing negative charge, it wants what? positive charge here what happens the ch bond is subjected to heterolytic cleavage thereby this carbon is going to take negative charge the hydrogen is removed in the form of h plus the h plus move towards c minus and produces ch3 n triple bond n positive charge this one will be removed Now what happens? CH three N triple bond N plus. If you see this particular step, here we have removed what Cl minus or not? This Cl minus approaches to this particular carbon. Thereby, what happens? The N triple bond N is going to be removed. So from this we can say that CH three Cl and N two will be formed. Come to the main moiety, that is R C double bond O single bond C H minus N triple bond N positive charge. This can also be represented in this way. R C double bond O C H N two. This is commonly called as alpha diazo ketone. Alpha diazo ketone. Why? Because with respect to this particular C double bond, what this carbon is called as what? Alpha carbon or not? The alpha carbon containing diazo group. That's why this is called as alpha diazo. ketone this one is subjected to further heating what will happen the elimination of n2 molecule takes place from here it can generates an intermediate that is commonly called as acyl carbene nitrogen is removed and the carbon is getting a lone pair this intermediate is commonly called as what acyl carbene this group is the acyl group this is having what carbene nature that's why this is commonly called as 
एसाइल कार्बिन द एसाइल कार्बिन इन्वॉल्व इन द रीअरेंजमेंट से दिस हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू बी दीज लोन पेयर इलेक्ट्रॉन इन्वॉल्विंग इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पाई बॉन्ड देर बाय वॉट एपन्स हियर कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड विल बी फॉर्मड और नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड हियर द वैलेंसी ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर कार्बन एल कार्बन इज इंक्रीजिंग आर नॉट सो इन आर्डर टू सैटिस्फाई इट्स वैलेंसी वॉट शुड वी डू वी नीड टू रिमूव दिस आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ आर माइनस देन ओनली द कार्बन वैलेंसी इज गोइंग टू बी सैटिस्फाइड एट द सेम टाइम इफ यू सी दिस वन this carbon is donating its lone pair of electrons it means that what this carbon is having positive charge or not it wants negative charge that's why this r minus move towards this ch plus how can we write this one r single bond this is connected to ch it is going to form a pi bond c double bond o this one is commonly called as ketene this is also one intermediate in this particular synthesis now this ketene is subjected to hydrolysis in presence of silver oxide what will happen this pi bond is subjected to cleavage here we are going to have h plus and here oh minus it can produce the final compound r ch2 c double bond o oh this is the mechanism of this particular synthesis it's very very important thing that everyone should remember two intermediates are formed in the synthesis the first intermediate is carbene intermediate the second intermediate is ketene intermediate these are the two intermediates generally formed in this particular synthesis so this is the what mechanism of r and ester synthesis so from this particular reaction we are understanding that what the reactants are simple carboxylic acids if you want to increase the length of the carbon chain by 1 ch2 unit we can do this transformation by using this particular synthesis along with the formation of the higher chain carboxylic acids we can get some more products also see here here we have a ketene intermediate or not take this ketene intermediate r ch double bond c double bond o so in the first case what happens this is subjected to hydrolysis in presence of water is going to produce r ch2 co oh suppose if this one will treated with ammonia for your convenience purpose how can i write h and h2 h and h2 the h will attack this carbon the nh2 will attack this carbon the pi bond is subjected to cleavage see what will happen r ch2 c double bond o nh2 these are the what amides or not it means that what by using this particular synthesis along with the carboxylic acids we can also synthesize amides otherwise if you treat this particular moiety with alcohol already we know that alcohols will easily produce what alkoxide ions or not so o r minus n h plus the h plus approaching this carbon 
the minus charge approaching this carbon the pi bond is subjected to cleavage thereby we are getting r c h 2 c double bond o o r c double bond o o r is commonly called as what ester group or not it means that what by using this particular synthesis we can synthesize carboxylic acids amides and also esters this is the beauty of this particular synthesis okay here we have one particular important point we all need to remember according to this r and ester synthesis the reactants are what carboxylic acids are not initially we have seen that carboxylic acids are converted into corresponding acid chlorides acid chlorides are treated with diazomethane then we will produce what alpha diazo ketone suppose if i start the reaction directly from this particular ketone suppose if i take the reaction where the reactants are what r c double bond o ch n2 this is alpha diazo ketone if the alpha diazo ketone directly produce acids amides and esters then this reaction is commonly called as w o l f f rearrangement wolf rearrangement you can remember in a easy manner if your reactants are carboxylic acids then the reaction is called as what r and ester synthesis in this particular reaction if the reactants are alpha diazo ketones why because during this particular transformation we are observing alpha diazo ketones as one of the intermediate suppose if you start the chemical reaction starting from this alpha diazo ketone then this transformation is commonly called as wolf rearrangement i think you can remember in a easy manner right this is all about what your particular synthesis let's see the final component applications The first application is This is the first application. See this one? This compound is containing what? acid chloride or not if the acid chloride is treated with diazomethane followed by hydrolysis this is the example of what or in the ester synthesis so the product will be this is the product right here we have one ch2 but according to this particular reaction what should happens one more ch2 group should be introduced that's why ch2 ch2 coh this one will be the product suppose in the place of this particular reagent if you use methanol what will happen initially the hydrolysis phenomena will takes place after the hydrolysis what happens the coh is going to treated with this methanol already we know that 
whenever the carboxylic acids are treated with the alcohols you will come up with the ester or not that's why what happens the hydrogen will be replaced with OCH3 this OCH3 acid is combining with the alcohol to form an ester this particular example is very very important in terms of the examinations in the examination purpose here you cannot get the hydrolysis here you will get the alcohol don't get confused initially you will get the acid the acid is going to treat it with the alcohol to form an ester so in case of the objective type questions you need to identify the final moiety will be the ester it will not be the acid keep it in mind see the second example or second application under same conditions initially it can produce oh later it will be converted into och3 here see this one two carbons are there we have introduced one more carbon this is the another application let's see the next application under these conditions if you see this particular application here we are observing bn and boc these are commonly called as protecting groups we all know that protecting groups are very important in the organic chemistry whenever we are doing a particular chemical reaction let us say if you have a reactant the reactant is having two functional groups i am adding one reagent the reagent is going to attack the first functional group and also the second functional group but i want to work with only one functional group assume that i want to react this particular reagent with the a functional group i don't want to react my reagent with this particular functional group so at that time what should i do i need to protect i need to shield this particular functional group that shielding is commonly called as what protection in order to protect my functional group i am using a reagent that is commonly called as what protecting group i think you understand the concept of protecting groups here the similar situation generally we are having two oh groups here both the oh groups are protected with what bn means benzyl how can we represent benzyl this is ch the benzyl this one is also bok it is a protecting group this protecting group is c double bond o o ch3 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 this is the representation of bok tetra butyl oxy carbonyl right if this kind of situation is there what should happen the c double bond o cl is converted into the corresponding acid initially but here we are using what alcohol that's why the product will be ester how can we write O B N O B N N H 
BOC here what happens once CH2 is increased then this is converted into COOCH3 if you see this particular situation this is related to amino acid or not generally in most of the cases we are using the protecting groups in amino acid why because in amino acid we are going to have two different functional groups carboxylic acid and amino group if you want to work with either acid or amino group the other group must be protected so in order to have the protection we are having the different protecting groups this is one of the protecting group boc voc boc right so these are the applications of your R and ester synthesis.